Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles and this morning we're visiting with Dr. Nicole Gaucher. She's with the University of Kentucky Extension Plant Pathologist there. Good morning, Nicole. Good morning. Now, Nicole, today we're going to talk about one of my favorite flowers and that's the peony, but you're probably seeing a lot of this come through the diagnostic lab and your office diagnosing it and that's peony blotch. Yes, yes, peony blotch, also called measles. So uh, some people call the disease measles because of the spots. But yes, this is the time of year where we see a lot of the peony leaf blotch, uh, very common, especially in old cultivars. So what does that look like? Like what do individuals need to look for? There is not much that uh, you really have to know because it is very obvious. So um, kind of large uh, purple colored blotches, sometimes they're glossy. You flip the leaf over they might be brown on the underside but so large glossy purple blotches usually on the margins of leaves or at least initially you'll see them on the margins of leaves and then of course as it gets worse it'll it'll consume very large parts of leaves as it gets hotter and drier through the summer those purple blotches will just really start to what we call blight so the the leaf tissue will actually die um, you can also see it on stems especially succulent stems you'll see it. Um, but in, in a, a stem, of course, it can't become round because of the shape of the stem. So it'll become more of an elongated uh, purple lesion on the uh, stems, especially the flower stems. I see. Now, I, I know when somebody would walk out there and see that on their peony bush, they might be alarmed. Is that fatal to the, to the peony? It is not. This is more of an aesthetic disease. Um, it can be really striking, don't get me wrong. And um, yeah, I have some varieties that are just, it's downright ugly. Um, so it, it is not an attractive disease at all. And depending on the amount of susceptibility that we have in, in the particular variety that you have in your garden, you'll see different levels of, um, of disease. Also keep in mind that weather drives fungal disease. So the wetter the year, the more severe the um, the more severe disease can be, especially as we go through a season. And you mentioned the the different varieties. So, are some cultivars more susceptible to this than others? Yeah. So typically, our older cultivars, those I call them pass along plants, those that we've you know maybe inherited or or a, um, a grand our grandmother gave them to us those older varieties, and while our older varieties tend to always be our tougher varieties, um, in, in this case, our older varieties are more susceptible to peony blotch. So uh, this is the one case where we probably wouldn't choose an older variety over a newer cultivar. And so infection happens earlier. It didn't just happen. We're just starting to see that. So is there any preventatives that a, that a homeowner can do? Yeah, absolutely. So let's back up just a little bit. So with any fungal disease, infection will occur earlier in the season, much earlier than when we see symptoms. And with this, this fungus, um, Graphiopsis, um, infection actually is occurring between 50 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's already occurred. Uh, I know this was kind of a, a, a non-typical year, but usually those infections are happening in May we're seeing disease or we're seeing the symptoms in June. So this has already happened. And it's when that tissue, that emerging tissue is succulent and new and tender, that's when the fungus can actually infect and get in. So that being said, think about how and when infection is occurring. Um, so number one though, like we just said, resistant cultivars. Um, so that's the first thing that um, you're going to do, if, especially if you're planting a new garden or even if you have a variety that's really susceptible to just trade it in. Um, to, to go ahead, sometimes we just have to cut our losses and as you purchase, you can look through descriptions and look for disease resistance as a descriptor. Secondly, back to that, that fungal life cycle, so fungi need moisture to infect and to complete their life cycle. So any way we can dry things out. Spring is very wet, of course, but if we increase air circulation, we're drying that canopy out much faster. So thinning, uh, spacing plants, anything for air circulation. And then this time of year, if we want to try to help manage disease, we can prune out disease tissue and then don't drop it to the ground. That's where the fungus will overwinter. 
we can actually cut it out and haul it off. So I always say prune right into a wheelbarrow, prune right into a bucket and get it out of there because that way that debris on the ground won't be the source for overwintering. All right, all really good information. I know if you have peonies, you're probably gonna go out and look at yours today. But if you have questions, you can certainly contact your local extension office and we'd be happy to help. And if we can't answer your questions, I'm sure we can call Dr. Gauche as she can help us out. We appreciate you watching the Farm and Home Show and we hope you have a great day.